grilled cheese, something so simple that if you look up tips and tricks online, secrets perhaps, on how to improve it, there's not really much to find. People might add their own little ingredient twist, but no one's really spoken about the quality of the ingredients themselves. You know, we've been taught in America our whole lives that food quality doesn't really matter. But if you use the best bread, cheese, and butter you have access to, not only will your grilled cheese be more than twice as delicious, you'll also remove any negative pollutants and improve the overall nutritional content, making it arguably a health food and great for anyone. And you could be a very strict keto carnivore dieter and this could be your healthy cheat meal or it could be a way to add a healthy version of what would normally be a standard American diet food. So let's take a look at the ingredients and go over what the, the worst version would be. The star ingredient, of course, is the cheese. And today we have the raw American cheddar from Frankie's Free Range Meat. You know, the alternative being Kraft Singles. I think I actually have some in my fridge. Let's grab them. Man, are my parents cheap. Hold on, let me see if they have the Kraft in there. That's pretty funny. I guess the store-bought brand doesn't taste as good as the Kraft Singles. And if you look at the ingredient list, you know, it's milk, cheese, the typical stuff you would see in cheese, and, you know, some questionable additives, some stuff that might cause some liver stress. But overall, it's not horrendous until you understand the quality of the milk that goes in here. It's conventional, corn and soy-fed cattle, full of estrogens, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, stuff you generally don't want to be consuming. That being said, you know, it is a source of protein, a source of fat, something most kids aren't getting in their diets nowadays. So this is unfortunately a, a reasonable standard American option. And, and uh, I remember when I was hungry, my parents would give me a slice of cheese from the fridge. It was horrible. What you should be giving your kids is a high quality raw cheese. We don't have those negative additives. We don't have any of those negative chemicals, but more importantly, since it's made from high quality grass fed milk, you know, the animals aren't being stuffed full of crap. There's nothing negative that's going to cause damage to our bodies. Plus, tastes a whole lot better. Protein content, mineral content, vitamin content is astronomically higher. You know, it's as simple as Americans being lazy and cheap. They don't want to spend the extra money on the quality food, and they certainly don't want to spend, oh no, not a minute or two to grate some cheese to make a healthy sandwich for my kids. Uh, moving on to the other dairy component, the butter. Exact same concerns as the cheese, except the store-bought butter doesn't usually have those chemical additives. It still does have the feed and quality concerns of the milk, however. Bread, you guys know I'm a fan of bread alone, really, because it's the only naturally fermented sourdough bread available in the store. And this is basically what I would make in my home. It's just flour, salt, and water. Uh, they actually add yeast to this, but uh, there are some other breads they sell that just use the natural sourdough culture. You know, if you had Wonder Bread or White Bread, the amount of ingredients in there, the additives, the chemicals, the seed oils, is just horrible on top of the type of wheat they're using that's GMO, sprayed with so many chemicals, it's basically poison. Bread might be the most damaging component from the additive perspective if the flour is fortified with like iron filings, B vitamins that get stored in your liver in unnatural amounts. You definitely want to avoid that the most from a quality perspective. And we're going to add a little salt to both the butter when we crisp this up, as well as the cheese on the inside of the sandwich. I think that's going to uh, take it up another step. I like using the finer grater just so it melts a little bit easier. You don't really need more than a quarter pound for a sandwich. I'm just going to sprinkle a little salt onto the cheese. Toss that together. So the cheese and butter are both available on Frankie's Free Range Meat if you guys want to try it out. You could also go to a local farm, support them, and I'm sure Whole Foods has it at twice the price. So I let the butter get to room temperature just to be a little easier to work with. And what I'm actually going to do here is, which isn't really necessary, I'm going to sear one side of the bread, turn this inside, put the cheese on that part, and then sear the outside. So basically you know, both sides of the bread get toasted in butter. Nice and golden brown already on the inside. We'll put the cheese on the sandwich. And I'm kind of packing it in, because if you don't, it's gonna fall off. 
So we have the salt on the cheese on the inside of the sandwich. I'm going to put more butter and I'm going to sprinkle salt on the pan. Some of you might be getting deja vu here and we did make a grilled cheese in one of my sister's day of eatings, but I double checked and I don't think we've made this recipe yet on the channel. We want to be simple. I'll just put the plate on top, lower the heat, walk away for a minute or two. Give this a flip, plate back on. So this is actually weighing down the grilled cheese so it's getting more of a crust and it's keeping the steam in so the cheese melts. Probably too much butter, but I don't think anyone's ever said too much butter. Maybe some vegan fairy boys. Not that kind of butter, ladies and gentlemen. Not vegan boy butter, which they love. Dairy butter. Speaking of that, the vegan boys are probably cre creaming their pants at the sandwich right now. That looks good. I mean, I don't think I've had a grilled cheese in like 15 years, but uh, let's see. Don't make this because you're gonna eat it every day for lunch. This is actually a good amount of cheese. You could even do a little less, but any more would definitely be overpowering. What really makes this is that really nice crunchy crust we made with the butter. And since we did it on both the inside and the outside, the caramelized bread and butter flavor is, is so much, it, it's amazing. I think the salt really helped too. I'm basically eating butter and cheese. Now what's gonna make a big difference here in the flavor and how much you enjoy it is the type of cheese. Now you could do Gruyere, you could do Emmentaler, we have both of those on Frankie's Sous Range Meat. You can mix and match two, three, four different cheeses. You know, if you don't like cheddar, don't use cheddar cheese. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you, your family, even your friends, enjoys this recipe as much as I did. Be sure to like the video, leave a comment down below if you'd like, subscribe so YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And above all, please share the video on other social media. If you do want to check out frank-stefano.com, you can see all of my businesses, including Frankie's Free Range Meat, where we have a variety of cheeses as well as the Finlandia butter. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.